Why do we gotta have laws? A little thing happened yesterday. I let Land take this truck to school because obviously his isn't fixed yet. And he got pulled over, got himself one of these fix it ticket. But it is a no mud flaps, which is my fault. I forgot to put them back on. I knew about that. But then they're giving me a fender flare ticket because my tire sticks out that much, which sucks. It's Utah. What do you do? So today we're going to pull this down, wash it off, build some fender flares, put my mud flaps back on that I already have, and then we'll be legal again. We've got some love coming for this truck. That front end is going to go in it, and I got a transfer case, some twin stick shifters. I got some stuff going to happen to this. We're going to put it on 37s, but it's hunting season right now and I need the truck a lot, so we're not tearing it apart yet. So today we're gonna change oil, build the mud flat and the fender flares, tighten some bolts up here and there, oh, and fix the drive line from the Rubicon because I'm tired of the vibration. Right now we're gonna pressure wash this sucker. All right, so I ought to be working on my FJ today, and I really ought to be working on Landon's truck today, but we don't have parts till tomorrow. We're gonna pull that thing out, work on my Toyota. We'll get that in here and get her done. I built this cool little hitch I'll show you. Right here. That way I can just come in with my forklift, hook it, drive this thing out of here like a trailer and I don't have to have someone guiding it for me. So we are changing the oil, we'll get it drainage, and then maybe while it's draining we'll go eat some lunch. That oil, it's a little, a little dark. The truck said it was time to change it. So Mind this is you, my... my car also says it's time to change it for two weeks now. But... I gotta look and see if I have a Fram filter over there that I can put on your <laughs> car. And then, then I'll change that sucker. The reason it's so black is because it's royal purple and it starts out purple anyways. So don't think that I've neglected the thing. It's actually not that bad, it's just purple. It's only got a trip to Rubicon on it and a little bit after that, so. All right, done with lunch. Back in the shop with me and uh, my shop dog. What do you think, Scout? Yep, that's my shop dog right there. Yeah, that happened. Jace brought that dog home last night and they got school today, so I'm tending it. So Michelle's up dealing with shirts and hats and stuff. That's, that's fun, especially when you can't get anything right now and we're trying to keep our store inventory up. It's hard, but I'm going to build a drive line. Well, I'm going to cut this drive line apart. You can see that there's a pretty good spiral in it from the Rubicon. What was that? that was my front differential housing. Oh my, what was that? Rock slider. So, go ahead and take that out. Then, this is all, it's jacked up, if you can see that. I got a new one of those to put in it. I'm gonna get that done, take a little vibration, some clunky noises out of it. I'll get it out, and then we'll cut it apart. So I gotta take a nut off the tread in here to get this out. Look how junk that thing is, it's hammered. Compared to the new one, this doesn't move, it's all tight. This one's toast. So we'll get the U-joint pressed out of that. Well, me and you, because we're the only people in the shop. It's whoever's watching and me. And uh, we'll get that fixed. And then we'll cut the drive line apart. gonna put this on it just so we only have to do it once. Tighten this on here we'll press this sucker off and we should be able to put a new one on it. Maybe that'll take a little vibration out of Toyota because it's had some and it had a taken off it did clunk on the floorboard. This is gonna fix that. <laughs> Fixed it. 
Yep, that one's wore out. Junk. All right, I'm sure this is not the last one of these I'm gonna put in. Although, it is the first one I've ever put in. It didn't go all the way on like it was supposed to. It wasn't for, for bad luck. I probably just wouldn't have any luck at all. All right, we got it handled. And we're gonna throw a new U-joint in this thing real quick. All right, we got one side of the U-joint in. Put this other side in. Okay, U joint's done. So I'm trying to work. And this dog thinks it needs to eat my pants. The healer in it wants to just chew on everything when you walk. It's like following me. Yeah. So, that's what I got going on. That's my drive line. I sawed it off. I think this old junker is the same size tube. I'm going to cut it off, measure it, see if it's right. If it is, there's plenty of it on this piece to build me a new drive line. I don't have to spend any money. All right, our first drive line didn't work, but this one happens to be the right tube. So I'll cut me 33 inches of it, and then we'll go to the lathe and start putting the drive line together. So, uh, K and N filter going on. So all the Fram haters. Wait, can... where? Why can't we put one of these on? We can, and it'll go on. I'm still gonna use them. As you can tell, I'm no respecter of persons and filters. I have a Napa, <laughs> a motor guard, or micro guard, a Fram, a Pennzoil, another Fram, some Kubota stuff. I'll use it all. It just don't matter to me. All I know is, in 3,000 miles or around about maybe five. I'm gonna change this and put some other filter on there, whichever one happens to be closest to my disposal at the time. I am, however, picky on oil. I'm gonna put some royal purple in this because I like it. I mean, if something comes apart in the motor, the filter's not really gonna do much. It's gonna be ruined anyways. I know I'm filled, I got a good air cleaner. I got that in it, good oil. The filter's just there for looks most of the time. Did you make it? Yeah, of course I didn't. No. All right, so that drive line that I was building that I thought I had a piece of tube for, it's not. The tube is actually like six thousandths too small, and I thought I could stretch it, but you stretch it, and then it's oblong, and it doesn't fit right, and it won't balance, so... We're off. going on a date tomorrow morning. Off to Cedar we go tomorrow, get some groceries, and a piece of drive line tube. That really doesn't sound like a very fun date. Fender flares. I gotta make this cop happy again. Yeah. Remember, that's the whole purpose. You've distracted me from what I was originally doing. I'm, I'm a distraction. Make this truck cop friendly again. Because we're on the wrong side of the law right now. We're gonna go ahead and put some mud flaps on it and then some fender flares. Have a sip of that first. Oh, I'm turbo boosting now. <laughs> My beautiful little cat mud flappers. They need to be out there flapping in the breeze. Why well, we gotta have laws? Hey, we need to thank our lucky stars, I guess, for the laws we have, because Australia can't even build anything like this. That's a true story. Or New Zealand, or I don't know, a lot of countries have commented and said this would just sit in their garage because yeah, it would be I totally illegal. I guess I shouldn't complain illegal. about some mud flaps I gotta hang on the back of it. But I'm still complaining about them, don't worry. <laughs> All right, I got the mud flaps done. Why don't you all comment, tell me what you think. The old caterpillar ones. They were on there originally, so they were pretty easy just to mount back on. I just forgot to do it last time. But now, I gotta come up with some sort of a fender flare here to make them happy. We'll see what I can do. All right, I'm not gonna get too technical. I got these strips left over from Landon's bed. I think I'm gonna weld those suckers right along there, bend it down. Maybe put some round stock on the outside of it. And they'll have to like it, right? Good enough. Hey, shop dog. All 
All right. Out of that way. That's the, that's the finished product. Little fender flare. Now I'm gonna take these bolts that I scavenged from my old job. They were holding the spool together. And I'm gonna weld those right down the outside of that. That'll look good. I'll do that and I'll show you what we got and we'll be finished with this side. All right, that is finished product. Turned out pretty good for just being junk I had kicking around. I think they'll like it. It'll pass for a fender flare. No more tickets from the highway Petro. I'll finish the other side and get a drive line put on this. This thing is as done as it can be until I get a drive line. So she's looking good. Fenders are built, everything's happy. Hopefully the cops are happy and we'll be done. So put driveline in it tomorrow and we'll be finished. All right, the old caddy is headed out of here. I sold it, it's going to a new owner. Hopefully they'll uh, enjoy this thing. Oh, pick up your little mutt. Oh. We'll fire it up and drive it up, load it on this trailer and we'll be done with it. It's going to New Mexico. not my car now I can do that <laughs> the dog it just chills by my feet all day kind of likes Paul and Paul kind of likes him I do he's a good old pooch him and the cat are buds though yeah they play with each other all the time Say goodbye to the caddy. He's out of here. Someone else's car now. I'll text the guy that owns it and tell him you have it. Oh, okay, so. okay. All right, see ya. So now that we got the caddy loaded up, we'll burn the cedar, get my drive line parts for the Yoda, a couple of CO2 tanks filled up for welding. Need some bolts. I need some random oil and filters. And that got real boring. Yeah, real boring. That got that real place. boring I real fast. I'm hunting a piece of that too. I spiraled the crap out of my Toyota. I need 33 inches of it. You have to have a piece. See that? That tells you how many drive lines this guy does. That's a serious amount of stuff. Probably 31 inches. 35. Oh geez, it is my lucky day. I bet we better head for Mesquite or Vegas <laughs> or something. Cool. Well, I'll be back because I'm sure I'll spiral it again. Go right for me all day. So. <laughs> awesome, thank you. One Aaron down, two yep. more to go. So you're just switching out tanks. Yep. Let's talk about how efficient you are. I'm efficient, son of a buck. We just we just got done with our with most of your errands and like. 20 minutes. Yeah, and we showed up an hour and a half late because of the caddy thing, so. All right, so that end's all welded up, screwed up. Now we're gonna do this one. Jace just helped me press it in, and I'll show you. These are my, my lineup marks right there and right there, so that should time it. I'll show you how far it's out. It looks like it's 10, 20, 30, 40 thousandths out right now, so. We'll tap it, we'll get it within 10, weld it up. It'll run great in the old Toyota. All right, we'll find the high spot. So it's coming up. That was a high spot, now. Low spot. That's the lowest spot right there. That's the high spot right there. So this is the process. You just go through it until you find high, low spots, tap them straight, and then you call it good and weld it together. I'll get that done. All right, got this thing all welded up. Spin. Pretty true and straight. We'll put it in the truck and take it for a ride. All right, 
we're on the road. We're gonna go burn in and see if Michelle wants to go for a ride. We'll test this thing out, see if it clunks and rattles still. So we fixed any of it, we'll see. Let's go see what Michelle's doing. On our trip to Cedar today. There's what Michelle's doing. And I'm doing. For your, for your entertaining this pleasure. Right this there. Is what's going on all day, Editing. every day. Creighton's doing, doing homework. Hey. That's lovely. Show everyone the house after we go grocery shopping. That's right. Go you want to go for a ride in the Yoda? Go see if we fixed it. But we're cop approved now. We're going to get a cop to sign our ticket off. Go take it for a test ride and we're going to be good. Let's see if it rattles and clunks and stuff. Good break. Drive lines are good. She doesn't vibrate. Drive Paul lines. blamed me for the drive line. Can you guys even believe that? She was my spotter. I told him straight up, I'm not a spotter. Don't make me be a spotter. I made her be a spotter and she still wasn't a spotter. I wasn't a spotter. I told him the rocks were all around us. Hey Paul. Yeah. There's rocks everywhere. Which which one? Like you... literally everywhere. That's what I there got. Was. There's rocks everywhere. Alright, we fixed it. Now we gotta do is find ourselves a copper. Wonder if we just did a hundred everywhere if a cop would find us. <laughs> I bet they would. We just had a cop show up and he signed Lance fix a ticket. Yes, we sir. got fender flares, mud flaps. We're legal peagle again. Everything's good. He was a little camera shy. He didn't want to be on camera, so uh, no cop on camera. But next time, uh, we'll try to be more legal, I guess. Yeah. So. All right, so she's good. Thanks for watching.